right here, Vanessa. Um, I crochet. Um, yeah, but I haven't really made much lately, as you can see. Um, um, okay, so I have my box here. Now these are just things that I made like five years ago. Um, just like a long time ago. So I'm going to be sharing you, I'm going to be sharing what I made a long time ago with you. <laughs> so this is part two. Okay, so these are pretty much just like sweaters and just little things that I made that I messed up on. <laughs> okay, and we're going to go through them for fun. So sit back and relax and just enjoy. Okay, so the first thing that I am pulling out of my box is this sweater that I made. And I remember making the sweater. I remember making the sleeves and the sweater. <laughs> um, this green though is like um, such a cool green. It is so cool. It's like a green that you'll never find again. And this is just a color that I found like at a thrift store so I don't like, I wish I could find this color green again. So, I'm going to, um, this is like a cardigan sort of thing. And I know why that I did put it away. I remember because, like, I messed up on the bottom and it looks really weird. But I really do like it. And, um, I like that I made the ruffles on this sweater, too. The ruffliness going on at the ends and the sleeves are perfect I don't know how I did that like whenever I make sleeves I'm like it's either going to be a hit or a miss so and this one was a hit like those, those are nice sleeves going on aren't they aren't these sleeves really cool they're so cool and then I don't know if you can see it but this is it And then the back, it goes all the way out. Yeah, I really like this sweater and I'm happy that I made it. So this is a cool one, it's all made out of acrylic. Yeah, so, and the weird part was that it was just like really, I don't know, it didn't, I just didn't make it right. <laughs> the way I make my things is not from patterns, I just kind of wing it, so. That's how I like mess up most of my things, but that's okay. So there's that one. So the next thing, number two. Okay, so I got this. I remember making this sweater. I got the wool yarn at um, Joann's, and I was excited to make the sweater. And this pattern was from Bob Wilson One Two Three, and I got yarn just to make the sweater from a tutorial that she had of making the sweater. And I messed it up, and I should take the yarn out, but I just haven't gotten to it. So this is it. Again, the sleeves are awesome. Besides this, look at this. That looks weird, right? It's like a kind of wonky sort of thing going on. And, um, oh yeah. And I think I did a really good job on the front, and I got buttons in here, but wait till you see how I made it. Um, Alright, so I made, I put the buttons on the sweater, right? And as you can see, this is what happened. I didn't make it big enough, <laughs> but look at that. <laughs> it's just holes. How fun. But it's such a cool sweater. And then the sleeves is kind of like weird because I made the sleeves weird. Like you can see it, right? You can see it. So other than that, I love this sweater so much. All right, so number three. Okay, so this one I remember making and I do have a, um, a YouTube video of this one on my channel. Not like the pattern or anything, just like talking about it, but this guy is humongous. This is a hexagon sweater, but I added my own like flair to it. 
and I will put it on. It's really, it's like really cool and like long and you could wear it anywhere. Okay, so this is it. Huge, right? So this was a joy to make and I know why it is in my box is because there's a hole in it and I haven't fixed it yet. So that's why it's in my box. Um, what else is I going to say? Oh yeah, this yarn, does it look familiar to you? I forget what it's called, so I don't remember. Maybe it's like burnet yarn? I'm not sure. But I did the yellow and then I did the brown. Oh yeah, I think this yarn was given to me. That's why I like used it up to make this long cardigan thing. But as you can see, if you know what a hexagon sweater is, it's like it's like this, like it's a hexagon, but you gotta like put it together. I don't know. But I added my own flare to it, which was the bottom, just to like make it longer. I remember doing that, and this is actually a really cool blanket, like a, just a thing to wear around when you're cold. It's really nice and comfortable. So, it is really comfortable. I should leave this out for like people when they come over, they can like put this on if like they're cold. Next. So, next. I think this is the fourth thing. Four? Yeah, so this is the fourth thing. So I figured I'm going to take, what I'm about to show you, to take this out to make this video extra spicy. Um, cause this is just horrific. Okay. Alright, so I remember making this and I used cotton white, white cotton yarn, and let me just show you. Yeah, I decided that I was going to dye this cotton white. I really wanted to dye it, so I got some, um, I got some blue from like Joann's, the sparkly dyeing stuff, and I never really dyed anything, so I just decided to dye this. And it turned out horrible, and I'm so sad about it. Um, but that's why it's in my box. And uh, yeah, you can't really see it. I don't know. It's like the, it's like sparkly. But it is a cool length, and I really loved it. And I believe this was like one of my things, one of my first mesh things that I've ever had, like made. I'm not. Um, yeah. So. There's that, guys. I'm gonna put this on, see how it feels. I haven't put this on in a long time. So let's see. How does it look, y'all? Ain't too bad. It feels really good. It feels so good, and it makes me want to make something like this. And I totally, totally could. Totally could. You know what's horrible? I haven't had patience lately. I've been, like, super busy with life these days. But, like... It's good. It's a good thing. And I love it. I enjoy it. Um, but um, I'm trying to get unfinished project, projects done right now that I've been working on. Because there's this cool dress that I worked on that I I made. But I stopped working on it. So, like, I'm trying to finish it. So it's done. So fun. So fun. So fun. So fun. So fun. So fun. Yeah, guys. Look at the light. Can you even see this? really cool. I think I, you know what's funny? I would wear this out for like fun. Like, you know, going out to like Best Buy or something and like wear this dress. I'm sure no one would give a shit. But like to me it would be fun, right? Because you know what I'm saying. Alright, so that's it for my part two. Um, I do have more things, so I'll have to do a part three sometime. Um, like this video if you liked it, if you just enjoyed it. Um, yeah. Comment and let me know what your favorite thing that I showed you was and if you made anything like similar to what I made or like, you know. Yes, I am so thankful for you all who are so kind to me on here and I always say it but it's really nice to be part of like a community kind of thing and like, you know, just be part of something. It's really, it's really nice. And I enjoy it. Um, once again, thank you for watching. Please like this and subscribe if you haven't. My channel is just crochet and 
a mix of whatever I feel like putting on. Um, but yeah, I'm putting a video up every week, weekend. That is my plan. So. Thank you! Thank you! Everybody! <laughs> okay, I'm getting a little crazy. Alright y'all, have a good day, night, evening, wherever you are. Stay inspired, be yourself, and have a good time. Alright guys, much love from me to you. Peace out.